This is an overlapping sets question with a bit of a twist because of the words at least one. All right, so they're talking about households that have at least one cat. We should think about that as you've got households that don't have any cats or households that do have cats. The at least one is a bit of a distraction there. I think it's meant to just make the question harder to digest. But really what it means when they say households with at least one cat is households that have cats. Same thing with the at least one dog. You've got your households that don't have dogs and you've got your households that do have dogs. So this comes down to either you have cats or don't have cats and either you have dogs or don't have dogs and that's how we're going to set up our Carol diagram. Now even what the question is asking for is a little bit tricky because it's not asking for one particular cell in our diagram, it's asking for the sum of two cells. You've got your dogs but no cats and your cats but no dogs and we're looking for the sum of those two kind of diagonal cells. Now it's important to remember that the total total, which in this case was given as 50 households, is going to be the sum of the four main cells. Your both and cell, your neither nor cell, and your dogs but no cats and cats but no dogs cells. So the sum of those four cells we know is 50. Now each statement on its own isn't going to be sufficient here because it gives us one cell but, and, and we're looking for the sum of two cells, but we're missing information about that fourth cell. When we combine these statements though, we've got the four in the both and cell, we've got the 14 in the neither nor cell, and we know the sum of all four of those cells is 50, so the missing 32 must have come from the two cells whose sum we were asked about. So I don't know the breakdown of those 32. I don't know how many are dogs and no cats and how many are cats but no dogs, but I don't need to know that. The question wasn't asking for those individual cells, it was asking for their sum, and we can say definitively now that their sum is 32, and therefore the correct answer here is C. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.